Hello, Nana here. Welcome back to Path of Exiles Essence League. This day we're gonna run a daily for Zala. Let's see if she While gets us something. While you're here, I've got a favor to ask of you. Follow me, and I'll fill you in on the details. Let's see if we get a map that we haven't ran a before yet. And Still if potentially sane, exile. something interesting happens. Back for more. I could use a hand turning back the tides of madness. There's a horde of corrupted horrors out there, and they're starting to so, spread. Corrupt the monsters. Torture chamber. I don't think it's on our list yet. Nope, the torture chamber is not not here. So that is gonna be fun. Who is the true criminal? The one behind bars? Or the one who tortures him? This is going to get interesting. I'm going to go... I've got a suspicion that we're going to face Inquisitor Malagaro here. That's because he was the one torturing in the Chamber of Sins. If I uh, remember my lore correctly, that is. Could be completely off on that, of course. Ooh, Screaming Essence of Misery. This is uh, a tier 5, and it's purplish? But, yeah, that's one we haven't seen before. Hex font, Screaming Essence of Misery. It's burning rather well. It's okay, it's all good. Here, die. Let's clear our curses and have a look. Uh, we didn't get a, a pop-up thing, so we have seen this one before. Casting speed, mana regen, max mana, projectile piercing on quivers, which is interesting, and more flask mana regen and increased mana regen on jewelry. That's interesting enough. Let's smash some barrels, because well, if you don't, then of course it would have contained a mirror of Calandra. That's the rules. Oh, uh, nope, let's not walk towards the thing that's gonna explode in our face. Okay, some artillery constructs over there. And over there. Let's see. Just put your totem in your bubble and you'll be happy. Oh, I completely glossed over the moss, did I? Yeah, because of course this is a, it's a challenge. So, we have more magic monsters, more rare monsters. That means, of course, Nemesis and Bloodline mods. And that's it. No extra damage, no no anything else that's scary. This is going to be a fun map. There's a hex form nearby, is there? I'm getting cursed all around. I think we might have killed it. Happens from time to time. Cast a kill. And there's a fractured over there. Ooh, I like fractured. I'm, I'm still slightly bummed that they took out the fractured map. Because that was hilarious. Got a suspicion they took it out for just performance reasons. But it was so much fun that every monster on the map would fracture out into other monsters. The Essence Drain, Contagion, Shadow I played back in Talisman League. Once he man managed to get to the to the mapping stage of the of the game, I ran some fractured maps for that, and it was like you know, watching popcorn. Just put in a little bit or like a room of monsters, and you just explode them, and due to the fractures, they would just come pouring out of the room. It was really hilarious. And I'm slightly sad that that is something that's no longer part of the game. But might be that it's also just for balance purposes, if they all have a, a chance to drop items, then of course that, that's rather powerful. Wait. Let's see, what's in the box? What's in the box? I need items and a stream of monsters, so we'll just put totems on both ends. And a beamy. And we'll just burn the initial batch. That's extreme monsters, so we need to keep a totem up, and then we'll just use the shockwave to draw in the stragglers, and you get a link. 
Yes, push. And I get items. Well, there's no items. Uh, that's not a door, contrary to what you would expect. Looks like a door. It's not a door. It's a wall. Let's see. Artic breath. Okay. Let's double check here. And push. Oh, uh, by the way, I'm level 75. I got a question from viewers to uh, try to mention that at least every episode so they can see where I'm in terms of progress. So, level 75. This is level 72 area, so we're doing good. We're keeping up with the area levels at least. Even though in, in terms of gear, we haven't really progressed all that far. We got a decent set of, of gear. Um, it's... it's uh, but Because this is Essence League, I'm, I'm still... I, I want to craft the items. But... I might, might just have to accept that Essences really are a mechanic for early in the game. But in the end game, it, it's really not a viable way to actually supply yourself with upgraded gear. That's something I've been trying to hold out for, but maybe I should just accept that I should trade for better gear rather than uh, trying to craft my own. Appealing as that might sound. But Let's see. Twish. Oh, come on, there's more there. Soul conscience. Come back from the dead, and then you die again rather conveniently. And there's more everybody as well, and some of those tar zombies. But they drop an item. Chance work. And more artillery. A righteous Fire Totem really does do a good job of killing most monsters. Don't really have to put in too much effort because the DPS output of just a single totem is just pretty good. If you then supplement it with a uh, Searing Bond and or Shockwave Totem and some uh, Flammability Curse, and you will kill things. Pretty decently. Uh, let's see, there's an arena here. And that's on the other side. So let's put up a portal here just in case at least some of our golem. And have a look. What are we gonna face? There's some shrouded stuff here. Let's do uh, that first. Okay. Construct. Okay. Here, bossy boss boss. Oh, shock and horror. That's a counterpart to ow, ow, ow. Wait, 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 wait. Aha, terrain. I can use terrain. Um, there's a fire counterpart to this. I've played the, against that in a. Zana map as well at some point in the in the past. Yes, they're not gonna do that too much against me. Oh, go look. here, go distract. Okay, I'm not not really fond of how this is progressing in terms of uh, the, in the sheer number of, of totems that are being summoned by, against me. Uh, but I think we did manage to kill the boss and get two unique drops from it. I'm happy with that. Uh, let's go switch. So this is a, a, a map. Oh, it's a bit bit plus shaped or cross shaped, and there's areas of water in the corners. There is a counterpart to this which has fire or those those burning grills, and that also has a boss that has some interesting mechanics. 
let's, uh, yeah, we can actually squeeze that in. Like so. But there you can pull levers in order to make the ground not burn temporarily. While here you have to use the, the terrain to in order to not get hit. Um, well, thinking I was just working around something, but sure. Um, we found this uh, Lionized Remorse. It's a pretty decent armor based shield. Uh, less movement speed, increase on the block recovery, extra block chance, take less physical damage from projectiles, so this works against arrows and such. Bunch of extra life. No resists. But this is actually it's an upgrade if you don't pay attention to the dexterity on my current shield. Also, this doesn't have 20% quality yet, so this is definitely going to be an upgrade. This is uh, this is nice. So we'll keep this in mind. And the bones of Ulr is a uh, summoner boots. You get extra zombies and specters and some other assorted mods. So, pretty cool, all things considered. Well, of course, we put things in our stash. Let's, let's see, this one is fine. This one we're gonna put in here. Cause I'm definitely gonna upgrade to that one. Just have to make it happen. I get the right uh, links and stuff. Also, a summoner golem. And then we move on and kill the rest of the group. Yeah, like that. But it's not often that I find uh, unique items that are actually an upgrade to the build I'm playing. It happens very rarely, so I'm actually really happy that it happened. Because I think that's gonna net us about, let's say, 200, maybe 300 extra armor on top of uh, what we currently have. And that's just raw base armor that's gonna get multiplied by the, the bonuses from the skill tree, of course. And now in the end, we might uh, face an uh, extra 500. We're gonna push it over 1100 armor, or 11,000 armor. Hold a little bit help. Let's see, put that one over there. And now uh, into it, we go. And you, yes. Nice thing, of course, of the Searing Bond is that you can just walk up to monsters and they will get shredded. Because, no, it's, it's this really, really tiny AOE around you that, that spawns it. So that, that's basically how it acts. And that is a way of just inflicting damage against things that are near to you. Okay, we are getting close to the uh, corrupt monsters that we are here to kill. Yes, and there they are. Corrupted bone lords. I'm just gonna jump because the slowest might be. It's faster than walking to the tar. Which is, well, saying something. You, here, have yourself a burning totem. And we're just not gonna open the door and just burn everything. Because now we have to. But we tried. Okay, there is one more over there. Whoosh! Oh yeah. And then this one. There's a lot of things that can raise corpses, but not a lot of corpses to raise. Which is an interesting mix of monsters here. And you are the final one. We killed it. Now we have to... Oh no wait, this is not a, a Torah mission. We don't actually have to look for Torah. Awesome. We can just kill things and then... When we're done, just speak with Zana on the way out. The way master missions are supposed to be. It's backtracking to speak with the master. Even though they are in your hideout. It doesn't make sense, at least not to me, and not to a lot of other people uh, either. 
I'm curious to see if in a next expansion or major patch, if they'll do something with the masters. If you no, know, as, as a quality of life change, or if there's really compelling reasons not to do it. No, or if it's something that the devs would like to change in themselves as well, but they simply don't have the time for it. Because no, if there's there's one thing that that the devs are consistent with is that they never seem to have enough time to do all the things that they want to do. Which is a very nice problem to have. But it does mean that, that no, there's always trade-offs to be made in terms of what to do and what not to do. Um, I think we're moving our way a little bit from the edge of the map. While well, we still had some stuff to kill on the bottom. But, but we have stuff to kill here as well. So. In the end, it is going to work out, and I don't want that. Why did I click on that? Okay, we are there now. Let's put it back and have a chat with Zana. I think we're on the brink of a breakthrough. Yay. That was the torture chamber. So, for now, I'm going to thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.